Today in the industry, tools and work methods evolve every six months. We don't want to sit back and just watch that happen. We want to be a leader in that. 3D printing gives us the ability to lead innovation. What used to take months or years is now a matter of days or within a couple of weeks. And that's huge when it comes to our type of work where we're in such a high voltage, dangerous environment. I'm Jim Patchen. I'm a work method specialist for a utility company. Earlier in my career, I was a high voltage substation electrician. I worked in the field for many years. And we were often making our own devices to come up with solutions in the field. If you had an idea, you'd have to draw it on a piece of paper or a napkin and bring it down to a local machine shop, and then they would do their best to build it. That process would take weeks to months, and it was quite costly. Today with 3D printing, you can take your ideas and concepts and prove them out. The average person can change the industry. In these substations, there's stuff that was built in 1920. There's stuff that's built last month. So there may be a device, it's the same device, but because it was built in 1910 and in 2010, the dimensions are different. When we have to build something, we wanna make it fit all of those. We wanna be able to make one product, one time, and do it right. It's hard to do that with a manufacturer who's in a cubicle. They're not in the field, they don't work in your environment. They don't understand how you're using it. When you can get an end user involved in creating prototypes, you're really closing the gap on the amount of time and the cost it takes to create useful tools. With 3D printing, we're able to come up with concepts, print the prototypes, and trial them out in the field. So when we communicate back to our manufacturer, the data is more accurate. It saves them money, it saves us money in the long run, and lots and lots of time. We were recently approached by a field crew to create a protective plastic cover that would protect them in high voltage environments. There was nothing on the market available for this particular application. The type of equipment that these plastic covers would be used on had various designs out in the field, making it very hard to actually develop a product that would cover it sufficiently for their safety. It was about eight months into the project with the manufacturer, and I was giving them drawings of our designs. The products wouldn't fit. They were not what we needed. They were unsuccessful. I used my 3D printer, made a prototype, and got the product finished within three weeks. And now it's actually purchasable on the market. This is a Liveline tool. Most of our guys call it a hot stick. This is what we use to work on energized equipment. One thing that we use is called a switch lubricator. It allows us to lubricate the switch before we operate it. That unit came with a very large, from an ergonomic perspective, poorly designed trigger. We were able to use our 3D printer to create this new prototype that's much more ergonomic and gives the end user more control when working in an energized, high voltage environment. In our system, it becomes necessary to perform maintenance on certain pieces of equipment. In one particular case, we had to clear the 500 kV to perform maintenance tasks. The 500 kV is the largest voltage within our system. To de-energize that equipment costs tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars. One of our employees had an idea to use a plastic barrier that could be installed to create a safe work area and avoid the clearance. To actually install it, there was a special hook that was sent with the device, but it was not designed properly. The lineman below has to put this on a stick, but it's really hard to get this into the actual eye from when you're working below. You had to kind of turn it, and it was very difficult for the employees. So we designed this new hook with our 3D printer. Once you let go, it'll pull itself right in without you trying. This small plastic hook took about three hours to print, and it cost around $5. We were able to take that small plastic hook and share it with other crews, and we avoided many, many 500 kV clearances because of it. This small $5 device saved us hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's paid for the printer quite a few times.